Hi everybody, welcome to Collaboration Coach. It's Matt and in this video we're going to look at how to create a quiz using Microsoft Forms. You can go to Microsoft Forms from anywhere in Office 365 by clicking on the App Launcher button at the top here. And if you don't see it listed in the first set of apps, you can go to the All Apps button and go to Forms from there. When you land on the Forms page, you're going to see your forms and you'll see a tile that says New Quiz. So if you click on that, it will take you through to the new quiz editing page. The first thing it wants you to do is title the quiz. So I'm going to call this Magna Carta quiz. I'm just going to do a real simple quiz with a couple of questions. You can add a description here if you want to put more information in there. And then to add your first question, you just add the plus button here. Now you've got a choice of the style of question. So I'm going to go for a, a choice option here. And my first question is, when was the Magna Carta signed? And then I'm going to do an option of 1215, 1315, and I add another option here of 1415. Now, we want to be able to mark which answer is correct. And you do that by coming up to the correct answer and choosing this little tick icon here. Once you've done that, it marks it as the correct answer. Now what you can also do is add a comment for the other questions. So for these other two, I'm just going to say, I'm going to delete this and say 1215 was the correct answer. So if they choose that, they're going to see which one was correct. And I'm going to do the same for this one as well. Let's delete that. There you go. You notice you can have multiple answers here if you want. Obviously there's only one answer that's going to be correct here and you can choose whether this is required or not to make it a mandatory question. So my next question is going to be another choice question. So I'm going to hit choice and ask which English king signed the Magna Carta? Now my options are going to be Henry III, Henry II, or add another option, John. And John is the correct answer, so I'm going to mark that. And then for these two guys, I'm going to say, the correct answer is King John. And then I'm just going to copy that up here. All right, so I'm happy with that. And now I can preview by clicking on the preview button. And you can see I've got my two questions. So first question, when was the mic the Carter signed? So if I choose, 1415, that answer, and I'm going to choose Henry II for the question which English king signed the Magna Carta. When I hit submit, it's going to take me to the thank you page, and I can actually view the results from here. So let's scroll down. So now we see, uh oh, I got this first question wrong. It was actually 1215. You can see the little tick there, and you can see it gives me my little, uh, my little note here to show me which was the right answer. And then second, which English king signed the Magna Carta? John was the correct answer. And I chose Henry II. You can see what this looks like on the computer. You can also switch to mobile mode, which will show you how it looks on the mobile. And you can also see how many points you got. You see I scored zero on this try. It's working pretty well though, even though I got a terrible mark. So I can go back and I can now choose a theme. You, you notice you can choose solid colors here. You can choose other background colors. And you can also upload your own colors. So for example, if you wanted to have an historic background, let's search for Magna Carta here. So here's an actual copy of the Magna Carta, if we just, or one of the versions of the Magna Carta. We can just add that there, and it will throw that into the background. So you can get an interesting background going on there to liven it up a bit. Now the final thing we can do here is share it. Obviously for other people to fill out your form, you need to share it. Up here in the top right hand corner, you hit the share button. You've got the choice of sharing with people in your organization. So there are people that have had to log into your Office 365 tenant, or you can choose to share with anyone. So that's basically anyone with the link can access your form. You've got these other options down here. So as well as creating a link, you can get the QR code, you can get the embed code, and you can also fire up your favorite email client and send it by email. 
So I'm just going to get the link for now. I'm going to copy that link and then I'm going to switch browsers to somebody else to test it out. So I've switched browsers now. I'm logged in as someone completely different, someone called Alex. And I'm going to paste in the URL that I just copied to see what it looks like. So this is my quiz. You can see, hi Alex. When you submit the form, the owner will be able to see your name and address. So when was the Magna Carta signed? I know that was 1215. And who signed the Magna Carta? Which English king? I know that was John. So when I'm ready, I can hit submit. And I can see my results. So I can see I got both of those questions right. So that looks pretty good. So if I go back now to my editing page on the other browser, you can see now I'm logged in as uh, myself. I've now got two responses to my quiz. So when I press on the responses tab, you see I've got two responses. And if I go to review the answer, I can see how my quiz was responded to. So first of all, this is my first try, my test. And you can see that I got both questions wrong. Now if I use this little arrow icon here, I can click through and I can see how Alex took the test and then he got both questions right. He scored 100% there, very good. And you can see, I can also switch to the questions tab, which shows me how the questions have been answered. So you can see I've got which responses I got to which questions. So question one, I've got two responses, two different ones. One was 12.15, one was 14.15. And then I can go and see how question two was responded to. I can also get some graphical information about how the questions were answered. So you can see for the three options there were on each question, two of them have one response and that's illustrated in this graph over here. So in this video, we looked at how to create a quiz using Microsoft Forms. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please hit subscribe.